Hello chess enthusiasts, it's been quite some time since I posted games featuring Alpha Zero. today I've got a special treat for you, a recent game where I made a daring rook sacrifice against Alpha Zero. it's an absolutely brilliant and superb match, so let's jump right into it, I started the game with knight f3, we have knight f6 c4 e6 knight c3 and the Nimtso English opening, bishop takes c3 and here I can capture the bishop with my queen, let me show you the variation. This pawn is not a free pawn cause I can win the g7 pawn, so bishop b7 e5 knight e4 and you know what, alpha 0 model is not publicly available for everyone, it has dismantled from DeepMind but it is still available in Google, not for users but for developers of Google team, look at the knight, the knight acted like a ferryman traveling from the mountains to Brazil, bishop here knight c6 then sacrifice your bishop as a Greek gift, take knight check, king have two move to consider. Go to the snake garden or crocodile river, king backs queen here g6 then queen h4 and the king will be hospitalized after getting poisoned, so in this position if you play king h6, akin to jump in a crocodile river, f6 h5, king here queen d3, black has to play f5, queen g3 queen e7 knight f7 here check backs knight g5, checkmate is the threat so you have to sacrifice your queen and it will be a checkmate in 9 moves. If you love the chess trap then like my video now, in this game I played d takes knight. d6 e5 take take bishop runs to g5, I want to play rook d1, bishop, d3 to attack it after eliminating the knight, even f4. Alpha 0 played with standard lines, I played long castle to attack black in kingside, this is a 4000 elo chess, every move and its sequences are so significant, if you play any inaccuracy you will lose gradually. I am focusing to launch attack in the king side while alpha making his powerful rook tanks in d-file, here if you dare to play any normal looking move, let's say a5, it's not a mistake but because the move is wasted so I get some extra time to break the structure by g5, you might think that if you capture the pawn then after takes, the knight will be permanently pinned and and I can create pressure to the knight by putting 100 kg iron to his head. So if you play knight g8, thinking, you can close the position by playing h5 and g6. I wouldn't capture the rook, rather I can sacrifice the knight on g6 or capture the knight, let me show you the second variation, take bishop e5 check, king h7 queen takes check, the pawn is pinned so after knight h6 take queen h8 is called check and mate. Human life's tragedy is that we get old too soon and wise too late, I am stockfish, I have been smart since I born, queen h5 a5 queen backs bishop backs bishop a6 rook e1 queen c5, alpha 0 moved his queen twice, because he's run out of his moves, I make advanced structure in 4th rank, here you might think of playing b5, let me show you the variation, attacking both of the donkeys. Queen a3 check, queen b2 will lead into a queen exchange and Berlin fall down in d6 square, so if you play king d2 then after knight a5, you may think of capturing the bishop then knight c4 will come, king e2 knight takes f takes e3 rook captured, attacking to the c3 pawn so bishop e5, queen c5 attacks to the e3 pawn, bishop d4 and can you guess our next move for black. I give you 5000 milliseconds of time to think, 1 2 3 4 5, ok if you find rook takes d4 then you are absolutely right, takes takes, if you dare to save the queen then queen a3 will attack at your knight, Rook f1 knight e4 kicks out the queen to play rook c2, knight blocks knight check, king f2 takes takes, f5, deflecting the queen from this square, queen backs queen c1 king g2 rook takes knight and that's it, the game will be over soon, hope you can checkmate white with your 200 elo rated brain. Back to the position we have bishop h4, couple of moves later we have queen e7 f4 rook to e2 captured bishop check king f8, takes to capture the pawn, if you dare to defend the pawn with queen f6, after rook f2 queen g7 king b2, knight f6 looks good but the black position will be vain in few moves, g5 to claim property in the kingside land, capturing the pawn will lead bishop e5, and you will lose your favorite person so in this position. After the knight h5 g takes pawn, the whole position is just poisoned, this is a 4000 elo match, every move matters, I am giving you an example, if you play queen f6 then bishop d6 will win up your queen, so in this position if black plays queen g1 then after h7. 
King e7 rook g2 queen h1 queen f2, the queen got high fever in her head, so the doctor comes on f4 to do a treatment, but it will not work as I can capture the knight with a check, king backs and I will sacrifice my rook, takes check backs promotes and game over, are you willing to get an autograph of mine, you might have desire for it and friends you can like and subscribe to my channel to support my work, because you and I love chess, alpha zero here played queen h4, king b2 knight here king a3. Knight takes bishop will result a heart attack in your legs so after bishop c6 b5 I sacrificed my rook on e6, that's a brilliant sacrifice, have you ever thought about this, I am 100% sure I didn't, queen goes to g6, attacking this, and this, rook takes h7, rook takes e6, attacking to the knight and if you play rook f7, then after bishop takes check, you have to sacrifice your queen and it will be a checkmate in few moves. Back to the position, if you play rook d6, which is an another blunder, take take take, king to e7, rook f5. King d7 queen takes check queen blocks rook f7 and you will lose your queen. And you might think, in this position, why black didn't just save the rook, well it will be a checkmate in few moves by queen d7. The more you practice chess, the lower your elo rating goes but you shouldn't stop practicing, no matter what, alpha played bishop f3, rook ups then he captured the rook, queen g6 attacks this and this, takes takes knight d5, one and only best move for this position, capturing the rook isn't allowed because knight takes f4 can draw the game, so takes takes rook e5, the rook is under attack so bishop g8, rook f5 and the king shouldn't move out from his chair, because it can lead into a checkmate in 5 to 6 moves, so bishop f7 bishop takes check, again the king can't move out from his home square because he will be checkmated soon, so queen takes h6. Rook takes takes queen takes queen and I am completely whining the because I have the queen and two pass pawns. Alpha Zero played an awesome game with me but I brilliance is superior than his tactical moves. Hope you enjoyed my content and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, comment me how you feel about my game and you can suggest me a video for the incoming days, now watch one of my recent video or a recommended one.